hey guys this is my official last free fire video ever and y'all guys been waiting this for who knows how long y'all guys always been asking me for my sensitivity so here it is the most important thing about this is secret to it all that nobody ever tells you about they all clickbait about this only way to get headshot is your sensitivity of your y-axis that's pretty much it the faster it is up the higher the number the easier it's going to become but make sure if it's way too high it's going to be un uncontrollable if it's way too low it's probably going to be a little too slow so it all depends on you the person the person who's playing the game how you're comfortable playing are, are you a fast player are you a slow player it's all for you so in today's video i will be revealing my key binds my sensitivity emulator dpi mouse dpi and that's about it and here is my literally my current let's see so for rank my headshot is 81 percent i could make it literally 95 percent if i wanted to average but you have to be playing super duper careful if you want it to be up there at that number but the average as long as you get it's gonna take you a while to get used to my sensitivity because this is how i feel like playing i'm super comfortable playing super duper fast i play on a super duper high sensitivity it's super crazy this is for solos and that's pretty much it so let's begin off with the general settings in free fire so we go here and then we go to sensitivity my general is zero because like i said my sensitivity is way too crazy if it goes to 100 it's, it's we're going to see what's going to happen in a few. Zero. Red dot 100, 100, 100. Because, like I said, it's going to be easier. The faster, the better. And you have, you literally are playing with aim assist. The game has strong aim assist. So, put it to the max. Like I said, the higher the sensitivity for the y-axis. Because you're dragging. All you have to do is drag. That's it. Just drag up. And yeah. That's zero. Because, obviously, the sensitivity is crazy fast. I don't really recommend using snipers. And obviously you can't get headshots with snipers because like i said since it's too fast and there's no aim assist for snipers um display ultra high on uh high fps obviously so it could be smooth and that's pretty much about it sound does that's my sound i don't use that i don't use none of that my controls this is my controls over here play default left of those right there grenade slot super important double slot Y double slot so that your glue walls would be separated from the grenades and everything else. So pretty much the smoke grenade and the glue wall are going to be in the same spot. And you won't accidentally switch out to grenades or nothing like that. So double slot 100% go to that. Yeah. Copy everything else there. Pretty much one important thing right here is the fire button size. Fire button size is 10%. Make sure it's 10% because the bigger it is, it's not really going to feel smooth while dragging up. So make sure it's the smallest, which is 10%. Everything else, ten percent, except for these ones right here. This way, put that there. These are all the buttons where I place them at. The double slot. To, see, right here, glue walls only, right there. I have all those to default. All the other buttons are default, except for the buttons over here, like the jumping, crouching, fire button. All of that are opacity. The opacity, the transparency, whatever you want to call it, is all the way down below. These ones are like at forty. All of them are like at forty. That's pretty much about it for there. Let's go over here really quick to my key binds. My key binds are right here. These are my key binds. So, tab for mini map, B for the bag, three to use map kits, four for glue walls. You press six for the grenades and stuff. You press five to, you know, repair your, your armor. And then X, you know, for a single shot, you don't really need to use that ever. And um, shift to run, obviously. Control is over there. I don't know why I use control for, but it's just there. I is for the emote. And it's for Kimbo mode. Um, R is over there for reload, obviously. One, two, and Q. Q, why Q? It's because you switch. You want to be able to switch to your fist really quick. So I use Q. H, G, and F to pick up items really quickly. A Y over there, B for revive, and then T for using L R K or whatever active skill you want to. Right click, obviously, space over there, C, Z to prone, C to crouch, obviously, up and down is for the driving. Those are the little arrow keys. Use the arrow keys to drive vehicles. 
left and right on the other side for yeah make sure it's two-handed all right now for my sensitivity as you can see it's 10 and 6.1 so pretty much the mouse dpi is 800 i repeat make sure your mouse dpi is set to 800 if it's not then it's not going to feel the same x and y is 77.65 y is 50 mouse sensitivity is 10 mouse sensitivity y is 6.10 this is the dragon up super duper fast tweaks make sure the tweaks is set to 16 450 mouse acceleration is false also something else that's super duper important to avoid having mouse acceleration as you go and search up um mouse settings on your pc and then you click on you click on um, additional mouse options from additional mouse options you click on make sure this you don't mess with that that's obvious default. everything here is default all of this is default this is default the only thing you want to um this is obviously going to be already checked mark make sure it's not checked mark because if it's checked mark you don't have that additional mouse acceleration you don't want none of that so you want to be everything to actually be what you're actually doing so make sure it's not checked and then click apply and then okay and then boom chilling after that right now over here like i said so right here if you want to really have it like super smooth make sure to enable high frame rate and set it to the max all this is default and then right here i set it to 2k because that's my monitor now for it might vary so it's it will still these sound will still work on 1080p but you could choose between those two, but for me, it's going to feel smoother. You might have to tweak it down a little bit for so it could be actually working for this one. But it should be still the same. So less than DPI, this is important right here. Do not use these defaults. You can use the custom right here. So set it to 480. The This is the emulator DPI. Set it to 480 and then click Save Changes over here in Graphics. Just leave that alone. Everything default, default, default. Right here, exit, um, disable those, save. Right here, make sure to set it to Asus ROG 2 because this is a gamer phone and that's the only way you can unlock 90 FPS and above. So that's pretty much about it from there. Let's go back to the game. And then we can hop into training. The thing, if you wanna, this is the best way to practice. Don't play actually going to real training. Just go here, training, pick up a weapon and practice against this little bunny slash bot, whatever you wanna call it. Pretty much all you want to do is this. Just start flicking your mouse up. Sometimes you're going to have to do it fast. If you do it too, too fast like that, it's not It's not going to land. Right here, perfect. See that? The more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get doing it. With this. Just gotta keep doing it. Practice makes perfect. Any weapon, doesn't matter which weapon you're using sensitivity remember this is my sensitivity so it might not work for everybody you tweak your own settings and stuff so i think it works out best for you but you could easily get used to my sensitivity and like if you're a wrist player but any range like i said you're gonna have to flip sometimes okay okay quick advice right here close range drag up super fast longer you go away you want to drag up slowly not too too fast but slowly up see how i'm getting closer and i'm going a little aggressive literally super close with an ar imagine an ar close with an ar you're on pc you have the most advantage stop complaining all right shotguns doesn't matter you could one tap whatever you want to call it I don't care about that BS of one tapping, but you could do that too if you want to with my settings. Where's the, uh, it doesn't matter, you can use any one of those. But you have to do, you have to get used to that sound for one, see? Look at that. Uh, You have to do it like really fast. Some of these weapons have strong aim assist and recoil. So you have to do it up fast. If you can muscle memorize some of these weapons, if you can muscle memorize all of them, it's pretty easy. The more you memorize, the easier it's going to come for you using all these weapons. It doesn't matter. You don't really need to be one tapping and all that. If you spray the weapon down low, 
You see what's going on there? When you spray the weapon down, it doesn't matter which weapon you're using. Let's use this shoddy. Let's use that one. Let's use this one. Watch this. Uh, you gotta be a little aggressive with it. Once you notice that first red, stop dragging and just hold it there. See, when I hold the button down, but if I just try just doing it like one tap and then that, it's not gonna register. So you want to hold it down. That. And with this one. This one's a little weird of a weapon. This one, I think you have to go really close to it. Yeah, with this one, you have to be super close range. This one, does, this one barely has any range. This one, same with this one too. The way to use this one, run in straight line towards it and then drive it up. It's pretty easy. LMGs. Any weapon, any weapon, any weapon. Uh, last but not least, these bad boys over here. AC-80, Dragonov, stuff like that. The even closer range. So some of these weapons, you have to hold down the the fire button a little longer than usual to be able to land that. Because if you just hold it for like half a second, then it's not gonna, it's not, it's gonna, this is what's gonna happen. So hold it while dragging up, it's gonna, it's gonna be like that. All right, snipers. Snipers. We don't care about headshots with this, but snipers. So shoot, Q. Shoot, shoot. If you're using just one, just one snap like this. Shoot, Q. Shoot, Q. Shoot, Q. And you don't have to reload with it. Alright, let me reload this one real quick. Now, nah, let me reload. See, that's a problem right there. This one, you don't care about this one, but if you could master it well, with your centering, you're chilling. That's that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. Remember, your wide sensitivity is the most important. That's that's about it. If you're on mobile and you want to be able to get easy headshots, point your speed on Android, iOS, just switch up the um, tur from, from Turtle to the Rabbit. That's about it. Don't mess with any other settings because you're going to ruin your device. That's that's pretty much it till then. That this is my last video and I'm deleting Free Fire. I'm out. Peace.